Here's what's making news now around Indiana, brought to you by Chapman Heating, Air Conditioning and Plumbing, the man for all seasons, Chapman, chapmanheating.com. Indy 500 programs throughout the years have become sacred keepsakes for diehard race fans. There are even some that have become high dollar collector's items. But this year's program is in a class all its own. Around Indiana, reporter Mary Rachel Redmond joins us now with details. Thanks, Gary. Well, it's no secret race fans have been chomping at the bit to get back to the track. Whether it's the speed, the tradition, or the roar of the engine, there's no question that for many lifelong race goers, an A.J. Foyt or Rick Muir sighting can be just as exciting as watching the race itself. Believe me, I get it. I was lucky enough to catch up with the legendary Johnny Rutherford at the track last week and found out the three-time Indy 500 champ is a man of many talents off the track, especially with a few pencils and a sketch pad. And that's why someone at IMS reached out to JR for a special project. That project, drawing the program cover for the 105th running of the Indy 500, a cover that's being billed as one of the most unique in all of race history. Why? Well, it's not very often, and perhaps in this case, probably ever, that a legendary Indy 500 driver can also draw. And we're not talking stick figures. Rutherford used pencil to intricately sketch the cars of his one-time competitors, A.J. Foyt, Alan Sir Sr., and Rick Mears, the three winningest drivers in 500 history. With the help of IMS graphic designer Amaya Mims, Rutherford's sketches are now immortalized on the front of the 200-plus page souvenir. I like to do pencil, soft lead pencil drawings and, and smear them, shade them, make them look like a black and white photograph. You like to, to make sure you get the proportions right and everything in perspective and looking like it was. And uh, that's what, what came out on the cover of the, of the program. The fans love JR, um, so people would love to have a program book with his artwork on it. He got all geared up, sent over uh, the sketches of the cars. Uh, once they were in my possession, I took them, beefed them up a little bit, enhanced the colors, added um, a little bit of touches of my own stuff with the, split, the speed blurs and the, and the speed streaks, added the legendary yard of bricks and the track, and kind of put together the, the concept. I would like to have had maybe a little more time, but I thought it turned out really great. Rutherford tells me since completing the cover for this year's program, he plans to really get back into his art, including oil painting. I also asked him what was harder, driving in the actual race or drawing the cover. With an absolute straight face, he said, drawing the cover. Unbelievable. Gary? All right, Mary Rachel, thank you.